Hello everyone, thanks for joining me. It's Connie Ray. I've got a tutorial for you today which is going to be a bookmark for Father's Day. It's Father's Day in Australia on Sunday the 4th of September and I'm making a bookmark just for my husband and um, my brother-in-laws and I've always found that these um, are kind of handy for them because if they read that is but even so um, they're very handy just to have a bookmark and sometimes it's nice to have that rather than or as instead of a card so um, I've used some washi tape and the washi tape is the floral um, boutique washi tape and I've also used the timeless textures on the back and I've also used the um, floral um, boutique uh, designer series paper as well and I've combined it all together to make this really cute bookmark. Now the other thing I've also done in this tutorial is I've used a couple of things. Um, one of them is um, shrink plastic. Some people may have heard of it, some people I'm not sure. But it's, it's a lot of fun and it's worth giving it a try um, to see if you do like it or not. And I've already stamped up my um, little icons that I want to um, actually add to my bookmark. And I've, I've already stamped them um, and you just use a stays on stamp ink to make sure that it stays. Um, on this one I put father, husband, uncle, which is what my husband is. And I put a little bear. Now it's pretty hard to see the bear, but he is there. And um, when you shrink it, it will become so intense, it will be a nice brown colour. And that's who stays on as well. So um, we shrink them. Basically they shrink down to a third of their size. And this is the opaque shrink plastic and this is the size that it ends up so it's kind of um, shrinks down quite a lot so I'll show you how I've done that and then I'll show you how I've done the rest of the bookmark um, and we'll take it from there basically I have used my um, what size is this two and a half circle two and a half inch circle to cut out my shrink plastic and I have stamped it on using um, stays on ink as I said and I'll show you, you do need to have like a silicon mat or something just so that you can um, shrink the plastic. So we'll pop it on here, be able to see it a little bit clearer as well. And the other thing that's really important is the little holes. Um, you need to punch those and you need to also put, if you're going to put um, anything like um, baker's twine, through the hole you need to do that before you shrink it i was going to actually do that but then i decided i didn't want to actually have the hole i want it to be shrunk down and i want it to be stuck onto my um, bookmark and i'm going to actually um, use my fuse tool to put a plastic cover over it and i'll show you how to do that as well so um, what i think we might do is just shrink these down so you can see how they work it's a lot of fun. Um, my shrink plastic, I think I got it off eBay or I got it from Crafts Online. Um, usually one of those um, one of those places is where I get things that aren't stamping up. It's either on eBay or Crafts Online because um, Crafts Online is really good. I, I get a lot of stuff from there um, if it's not stamping up. So but being a demonstrator, obviously I use my demonstrator stuff. But there's some things like shrink plastic and the fuse tool which are becoming very popular. Um, but Stampin' Up! doesn't do that at the moment. So they may have done previously. I'm not sure. I'm sure because, uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure they may have. Be, well, who knows? But, you know, ten, this, is, this has been around. The shrink plastic has been around for quite some time. I remember using it 12, 15 years ago when I was doing crafts. So it's been around. You can get opaque. You can get clear. You can get black. Um, yeah. But anyway, look, if you get the chance to play with it, have a play with it. It's a lot of fun. So I'm just going to um, put my heat tool down here and I'm going to show you how I shrink it up. So this is how it goes. Basically, you put your hoot. You can bake it in the oven where you follow the manufacturer's instructions. Basically, that's what you do. If it says bake it in the oven, bake it in the oven. If it says you can use your heat tool, use your heat tool. So I'm just going to keep basically cooking it and what it does is it brings it out onto itself there's a few, th few things you, you can do when it does this if it doesn't want to come completely out on its own might need a bit of encouragement and that means you just got to flip it over be careful because it's very hot okay so you can see here that it's actually gone like a nice round shape which is the shape that I cut it and 
you can see there's a little teddy bear. I'm just going to use the back of a um, block to flatten it to make sure it's right. So there's that one. And I'll show you again the other and uh, the other one. It's really quite good if you want to make a keychain for Father's Day. Super, super fun. You can do lots of things and use your stamps and your stays on ink to do it. Um, just so that you get the you know the, the better uh, the ink the stays on ink will stay on and um, perform better. And you can get lots of different colours on eBay as well. So uh, Stampin' Up's just got black at the moment, I think. Obviously, I used um, uh, this is saddle brown. This colour that I used for the teddy bear. Oh, wrong one. Oh, you can do that too. I'll just try and get that into shape. It looks a little bit. Doesn't look really round, does it? it looks kind of oval. <laughs> but that's all right. It works just the same way. That's all right. That'll do. So there's the um, shrink plastic, and how it shrinks up. And look how thick it gets. Really quite thick. So it's gone from that very thin look, and it looks like it's kind of like a piece of vellum kind of look and then when you shrink it it comes down to these little tags so they're really kind of cute aren't they and you can see how the color has intensified on the teddy bear oh, there you go and then father husband uncle so they make really good um little decorations you can make your own which is a lot of fun so there's two things you can do you can either stick your embellishments in there on this one i just went around the corner with some um stays on ink and it was blue, I think, that I used. Well, obviously it was blue. Oh, here it is, Azura. So I've just gone around the edges with it just to give it a bit of colour. So it just blends in with um, your bookmark if you're doing it in these colours. But if you're not doing it in these colours, do whatever colours you like or whatever colour stays on you've got. Just to use it, just to make sure, sure that it stays on as it says it does and if you want to triple do that one in a brown in the saddle brown and this is a saddle brown stays on and we just go around the edges on that and just just blends it in a little bit better and as you can see how tiny the hole is there that I punched to show you so obviously if you're going to shrink that you've got to put your little um string in there before it does that as well as punch the hole okay so i have got all my little um trinkets that i wanted to put into the bookmarks let's put that down there so then the other thing that you need is a six by two whisper white cardstock and a six by two piece of designer series paper and whatever color you want okay and then i used my washi tape and it wasn't too hard Whoop. let me get you back into focus there we go so basically I've just used the washi tape and the washi tape is just going at intervals up whichever way you like it there might just put my soap and that back down sorry guys Sometimes the washi tape, you've, you've got to remove some of the stickiness from it for it to be really effective. Um, otherwise, it will stick. So just to be sure, I'll just use my silicon mat. Okay, um, just up another notch. You can do what I've done here. You can put a I've stamped Happy Father's Day with the teeny tiny sentiments in there. So you can stamp sentiments in here if you want. I didn't want to make it too busy because it is a bookmark it is interesting Oop. a 
but washi tape is such a fun way just to dress something simple up and make it look really quite nice oh, listen to those ambulances out there here i was saying it was a beautiful spring day yesterday and it's raining outside a lot so there we go i think that'll do so basically you just go into then pop these turn them over onto the back How simple is that? And it looks really good. Okay, so we've got that on the back. Just move that mat out of the way. And then the next thing I've done is stuck the washi, uh, sorry, the designer series paper down to cover the back. But also I've used the one with the lines on it so that I can write. This one I put that way in landscape so that I could write on it um, from us. But if you want to put, cut it whatever way or you want to use that of course you can do whatever you want really doesn't really matter so I just use some Tombow to stick that down just to make sure it goes and it gives me a little bit of time to make sure it's all even nice big blob there But if you've cut it properly, it should be quite even. There we go. Okay. So now I've got that, the washi tape on. You got my little trinkets here. I'm just going to remove this because Sorry, guys. It was sticky, and it's Murphy's Law. If I don't remove it, I'll have a disaster right in the middle of filming. So I don't want to do that. I have to start again. Okay. So now we've got that part done. So for the stamps, as I said, I've used the um, the Happy Father's Day from the Teeny Tiny Sentiments, and I have put that somewhere where I can't find it. Of course. <laughs> hmm, okay. I've popped it away somewhere and I don't know where I've put it. Not very clever of me. Usually I'm more organised for a tutorial, but I can't find it. So, you know what? We're going to have to just pass on it. Um, oh, there it is. I found it. <laughs> Problem solved. Okay. So I haven't left much room here for the actual sentiment, so I could put it on the top here or I could put it down here. But I've used the teeny tiny sentiments for a reason, and that is because it is tiny and will fit in between. So I think for this one, I might just, yeah, I might pop it on the top. Um, no, I might pop it in the middle. So you can do this with a normal block. There's no reason for you to have to use the misty at all if you haven't got it. So don't, don't think that you've got to use it. And I'm using Memento because I want it to be nice and crisp, the image. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> okay. And then on the back, I have gone ahead and I've made some little decorations on mine just to make it nice and just take away that blandness of the lines i have used my uh, flourish from the timeless textures which is this one here and i've used this flourish here and i've done this in uh smoky slate because i wanted to sort of like not make it too obvious but make it obvious enough to show that it's there just enough and i didn't want to do dark um, denim blue like the dapper denim I want to use just a different tone here so that one hmm. I think I'll put this one here and again you don't need to use the misty for this you can use just a normal block because you're not doing any double stamping And 
I would like one just on the bottom, I think, somewhere there. Because if you're, if you're going by writing, you'd be probably putting it this way. So I'll pop that in that direction and just half it there. There we go. Just put that out of the way. So there you have your flourish, which is just nice. And you, you're going to be able to write down there. You've got your Happy Father's Day and your washi tape. Now, if you wanted to, you can put in a um, punch a hole in the top there. And you can do some solid baker's twine which is what I've used. I've used black and just when I do the fuse I'll, I'll, I'll go through that with you in a moment. Okay so we're just going to pop that through. You need your fuse tool on if you've got one and it needs to be quite warm. So when you start crafting, you turn it on so it just get nice and hot because you do need it to be really hot. Well, I've found that that's what, how I like like it to be. So, so there's your, um, basically, that's your bookmark, which is really cute just on its own. And, of course, you can put more stamping on it or sentiments, whatever you want to do to it to dress it up. But that's basically how it is. It's very straightforward, very easy to do. And it's something that Dad can carry around with him, hang on his windows hang on his um revision mirror in the car <laughs> something like that okay so now i'm going to use the fuse tool and i am going to if i can just find my fused paper um again i got this from um my fuse tool i purchased from um crafts online so, and I really do like it because it does create some really interesting um, crafting opportunities. And I get nothing for saying that, so I don't think that I'm saying it just because I get something because I don't. I don't get anything from anybody. <laughs> All right. So basically, I'm going to line it up to make sure you've got it the way that it is. Now, it comes with a fuse tool. And do you think I can find it? No, of course not. I can't. So I will show you how I've done this previously when I can't find it. So I've got the fuse tool. It's on, it's really hot, and I'm just going to seal this off. So I'm just going to put the ruler down where I want the seal to occur, and I'm just going to hold it down like this, straight up and down, and just slowly drag it across my item with the fuse paper. Now the fuse plastic that comes with, uh, well, you can purchase the fuse plastic as well. Um, it's very inexpensive, but some people use... Um, Lots of different other things, but I've just got the fuse plastic because I really want to try it. So I've done the bottom now. Now I'll just do the sides. Let me just use your grid paper to keep keep it straight so that you've got um, wiggle room, as they say. So just slowly. I found that if you've got it hot and you just slowly drag it and press, you should be fine. I've had to, you have, a, have to have a little bit of a play with it before you can confidently say that um, it's all, um, you're, good, you're okay to go with it. If you're going to get one, just get one, have a play, just muck around and keep trying. It's great for window sheets. Sorry, not great for window sheets. It's great for um, windows. Um, I used one here, for example, when I made this box and this has got... Um, Oh, there's a hole in it and here is an example of how I created the window um, and I put some um, sequins in there and that's a box that I did that with and you can see here the box has got um, a little window in the back that I put sequins in and it's really good like that so there's lots of crafting variety styles that you can actually where it would be appropriate or it would be fun depends what you're making I suppose Okay, so again, just slowly bringing down. And that's it, basically. Now, I'm not going to seal off the top because there's a reason 
I need to keep it open. I need to write on the back of that, and that's going to go off to one of my brother-in-laws. Um, and the other thing is um, I want to put my embellishments that I've made. Now, I'm just going to trim off the edge. You don't want to, get to, you don't want to cut across that little piece that you've actually, that little fine line there that you've done. You don't want to cut that. Well, you can. You have to start again, though, because it will undo your, your melting, your fusing. I'm just going to trim it. As you can see, it works perfectly. I'm just going to trim that bit. I'll trim that stick tree down there. And I will trim this bit because I will fuse it off. I don't want to cut my string though. Okay put that completely out of the way so at this stage I'm just going to leave it like that I'm not going to fuse the top of it here because I want to put in some embellishments so you can see how the bookmark is looking really all contained so I'm just going to put in my little embellishments that I've made for dad so thanks for being you which is one of our um, stamping up stamps which is this one um, that's from sweet sayings I think this is uh, from the let me have a look uh, sweet sayings this is from the do, 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 do. sorry sorry people the bear hugs is from um, bear hugs the little bear this guy is from the bear hugs so we've got a little bear in there because my son has a bear called Bosley and my husband will be able to understand that message that I put in there. The Teeny Tiny Sentiments has obviously got the Happy Father's Day. And, oh, yes, this is the one. This is the boy one that I've been using, Guy Greetings. I've been using that and I've got, um, I've used my stamps that says Father, Husband and Uncle and put them all together and stamped them onto one embellishment down here. So it'll go in here like that. See, I've got all my little trinkets in there. And now I'm going to put some silver sequins in because silver's nice and it makes the blue pop out a bit more too. I don't think they'd like any of the pretty ones. <laughs> they probably go, how come there's sequins in here? How come there's pink sequins in here? There's nothing wrong with pink sequins, is there? I like pink sequins. So I'll just put some silver ones in. Just to make it pretty. Some boys like bling, don't they? Okay. Probably find some blue ones up the shop. There we go. All right, so it's got a little bit of, um, not much, in terms of this tutorial. Um, but it has got a little bit of bling in there and it's got my little sentiments in there and basically it's just like a little bit of, oh came flying out just like a little bit of a shaker card it's just got all the bits and pieces in it that you want and then you're just going to run your fuse tool across the top and seal it so that you can whoop, shake it around and you've got all your bits and pieces in there so it's a really good idea to um, give it a go and make a bookmark for males and females and they make really good. Um, I, I have done one for my son. I did one invitation like this in a bookmark so that people could keep it and things like that. So, yeah, give it a go. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks for joining me. And I will be back soon, hopefully, with a new tutorial doing something else. Thanks for joining me. Bye.